All right, everybody, we're going to go ahead and get started. Once again, this is Stephen V. Richson speaking to you from the beautiful San Francisco Bay Area. Extremely excited to have each and every one of you on this call. Uh, I know we have primarily people uh, from California plugging into this call, but I definitely know that we're going to have people calling in and listening to this recording from all over the United States. So uh, congratulations for carving some time out of your busy schedule to receive some information I truly believe could not only help you, but more importantly, help the people that you care about. Not going to be here very long. Uh, it's going to be a brief call, but my goal is to have it be a comprehensive call. And there are really three things that my goal is to accomplish uh, during the next few minutes we're here together. One is really just to introduce power to you. And I'll tell you why that's so important in a few minutes, but introduce power to you. Uh, also help you understand where we are in history and why I believe it's so fortunate that everybody is, is here at this time. And then I'll share very briefly the, the simplicity of an introduction because that's really what this program is all about. You simply introducing people to me slash us, uh, depending on who's plugging into this call and uh, allowing us to do the work so we can help people that you care about and that you can benefit along the way. Now, most people who hear this recording, definitely people who are on this call already know who I am, but for the record, my name is Stephen V. Richardson. Uh, some of the things I'm most proud of, happily married since 1985, proud father since 1986. I need to add another line there because I'm a proud grandfather as of a few uh, weeks ago. And uh, sales and communication coach since 1987, full-time entrepreneur. This is my 20th year as a full-time entrepreneur. Seven-figure producing marketer, blah, blah, blah. Let's just say I, I've, I've been a few places. I, I've done a few things. And I'm so excited to, to be here uh, at this part of my career. Now, what is power? Most importantly to me, power is a certified B corporation. Now, I didn't really even know what a certified B corporation was until last year. But I want to share with you because it really shows you who you are really partnered with. A certified B corporation is a for-profit business that has passed rigorous standards of social and environmental performance, accountability, and transparency. I didn't know this existed. I didn't realize that this is really the gold standard for organizations across the, across the world. And before I started this call, I'm not going to tell you the list, but I actually I went to chat, chat BDT. I went to chat GPT and I put in the names of the top valued companies in the world, some of the most respected, most profitable, biggest companies in the world. And I asked a simple question, are any of these companies certified B corporations? And the answer was no. So it's really interesting, the companies out there, and many of them are doing some great things, but the fact that um, those companies that we all have heard of are not certified B corporations really sets power apart as far as being a credible organization. Now, in addition to being a certified B corporation, there are approximately 32 million companies in the United States right now. Last time I checked, about 32 million. Out of those 32 million, power has been named in the top 5,000 uh, fastest growing companies for the last four years in a row. Now, there are so many zeros that it's almost can't even comprehend it, but to to be a Fortune 500 company, a Fortune, I mean, an Inc. Inc. 5000 company, really means you're in the top 0. 0.0001 whatever percent of companies. So let's just say we have some pretty strong third party party validation, and once again, the fact that we have been named in the in the top 5000 the last four years in a row really shows that we are on on onto something. And, you know, I won't drag you through everything. Better Business Bureau, A-plus rated, Yelp, five-star, last time I checked. So let's just say power has some very strong third-party validation. So what is power? Power is a renewable energy platform. We provide the world's best solar equipment, battery backup, financing, local installation, warranties. And we have a very simple but powerful vision to accelerate the adoption of renewable energy worldwide. Now, we were established in 2014, about 10 years ago, and so far we've had over 30,000 solar upgrade installations. We're the first ever cost of goods sold model implemented a few years ago, and in just the last four years alone, 
we've surpassed a billion dollars in sales. And I really want you to pay attention to this piece because this is what you're potentially a part of moving forward. Last year alone, we paid out almost $82 million in commission. That's what I want you to be a part of. Now, I talked about the platform economy and here's, here's something very interesting about the platform economy. Every single one of us, anybody who listens to the sound of my voice on this call, every one of us is contributing to the platform economy in some way, whether it is on a vacation to stay in a place rather than a hotel, maybe it's going from one place to another, maybe it's ordering something to be delivered at your house, maybe it's watching a movie, maybe it's buying or selling a house. We're all contributing to the platform economy, but the question I have for you is, are you also benefiting from it? And this is the opportunity to benefit from it. And we're in, last time I counted, 26 states and growing. The cool part about this is most of what we do is virtual. We're doing this on Zoom. A lot of people are going to watch this recording on YouTube. It doesn't, you don't have to live in a state that we're operating into to be able to help somebody save money on their energy by upgrading to solar. So it's very important to understand that it really doesn't matter where you are in the world. We have some people who are outside of the country who are doing extremely well, leveraging our platform, leveraging this proven system of success. Now, uh, this is a picture of me and my son. Anytime I can squeeze in a picture of my family, I, I'll, I will do that. The, the information I share with you just now, as an ambassador with power, you don't have to remember it. You don't have to say it to anybody. It's really just for you. Now, why is it just for you? Because I am in a position where I'm asking you to connect me with people who you know and care about. Now, I know that you wouldn't do that unless you trusted me and also trust the company that I'm with, but it's not necessary for you to say all this information, definitely not necessary for you to sell or chase or convince. All I'm looking to help you understand is you are connecting somebody who you care about with me and also with a very reputable, successful company. That's really the most important thing. You don't have to remember anything I just told you other than they have something going on. So why are you here? You're here for two reasons, primarily. The first reason is you're here because you express interest in creating an extra stream of income by leveraging what power is doing. Why are you also here? You're also here because I need you. Now, I need you because of what is going on in the industry. This is a magical moment in time in the world with regards to energy, with regards to business. And I'm going to give you just a little bit of information you may or may not know. Similar to the platform economy, energy is something that you have been contributing to as long as you've been an apartment dweller or, or a homeowner. You're paying into some type of utility company. And once again, are you simply contributing to energy production and consumption? Or are you also benefiting from it? This is an opportunity to do that. So here's what's going on right now. The U.S. government has the goal to achieve 100% carbon-free electricity, carbon pollution-free electricity by 2035. That is a very aggressive goal. As a result, they are giving a 30% federal income tax credit to subsidize solar system purchases and installations. Basically, it's a rebate. It's not a tax Deduction, it's a tax credit. So when you qualify, you're basically getting a check. So in essence, you're receiving a 30% discount off of something that many people are going to do anyway. Now, here's the key part. Residential solar has been going on, believe it or not, since the 70s. Currently, there are about 130 million homes connected to the grid. That's how we all get our electricity. 90 million of those homes qualify for the 30% tax credit. Even though residential solar has been around since the 70s, and you have some very big companies who may or may not be making money or they've been out there uh, putting solar panels on people's roofs, there's still less than 5% adoption. Less than 5% have adopted the solar energy for their homes. That means they haven't leveraged the tax credit yet. That means there are 86 million homes ready to upgrade to solar. 
I don't know that many people. I don't know who you know. And also, since there's literally is a race going on to get our country to a carbon pollution free level by having people upgrade to a renewable energy source, I need more people to simply connect me with people who are open to having a conversation about how we could help them. You don't have to listen to me regarding where we are in history in, in this business opportunity, but also let, let's listen to someone who other people can trust. How about Warren Buffett? Warren Buffett, he said, energy deregulation will be the largest transfer of wealth in history. Now, Warren Buffett doesn't just make random statements. He knows the impact that whatever he says has on the markets, on individual people's lives. So this is something you should really take to heart. Energy deregulation will be the largest transfer of wealth in history. So I'll ask you another question. What are you doing to position yourself to take advantage of what Warren Buffett says is the largest transfer of wealth in history? Chris Saka, another billionaire, very successful entrepreneur, philanthropist. He's done a lot of things. Many of us have seen him on Shark Tank at least a couple times. Chris Saka says, the wealth that is being generated in climate tech, power is a climate tech company. The wealth that is being generated in climate tech right now will wildly eclipse all of the wealth generated by the internet total. Now, I'm not sure if Mr. Buffett and Mr. Saka are actually correct, but let's just say if people like them are saying, this is gonna be big, ask you again, what are you doing to leverage that? What are you doing to position yourself to take advantage of that? Or will you just continue to contribute to it as opposed to benefit from it? A couple more questions for you, almost done. How would your friends feel if you played a role in helping them save potentially tens of thousands of dollars because that's what we're doing? Personally, I don't sell a solar system unless I'm able to save somebody money. And when you calculate it out, when you do the math, of how much somebody is spending right now, paying to the utility company, how much they could start saving from day one, zero, typically zero out of pocket, cash flow positive from day one. When you calculate that over the lifetime of the ownership of the panels in the house, you're typically looking at tens of thousands of dollars of savings. So if you can give your friend a present of saving them potentially tens of thousands of dollars, how would they feel? What's the even better question? How would you feel if you could earn $1,000 every time you played a role in helping a friend save potentially tens of thousands of dollars? I'd feel pretty good. All you have to do is connect, ask, and introduce. Connect to people who you interact with, who you know, who you care about. Ask them a couple of questions to basically pique their interest and then introduce them to me or one of my business partners. Connect, how do you connect? Here's the easy part, just be you. It's not about you being the power ambassador, a power sales professional, independent distribution partner, none of that stuff. Just be you, just be like you normally are and have some conversations, see how people's lives are going, how the family's going, don't even, Pretend that you're doing something else because you're just being you reconnecting or connecting with another person. Ask. I'm just going to give you a couple of questions. We're going to ask some other trainings in more detail. I don't like to use scripts, but I, I like to have formats of things that you can say. A simple, in the middle of a normal conversation, asking a question such as, you ever thought about upgrading a soul? And just wait for the answer. They're going to answer you, first of all, and they're going to answer, yeah, I've thought about it, or no, I haven't. If they've thought about it, then what naturally might come is, oh, what did you do? You didn't just, did you decide to do it? No, why not? So you don't have to go in great detail. I'm not going to train you on sales, communication, closing, overcoming objections. None of that applies here because all you have to do is ask a question. And once you've asked that question, whether they ask answer yes, whether they answer you answer no, another answer as I, as I put a pin in that for a second, a question like, "Have you upgraded? Have you upgraded solar yet?" Just casual, calm, kind of matter of fact, assumptive, right? This is an assumptive question, kind of sales term. Have you upgraded? That that's assuming someday you're going to do it. 
unless you decide that you're going to continue to pay the utility companies whatever they charge you and they're continuing to go up every single year. Some of them are going every almost every single month. Regardless of what they answer, here's all you have to say. Call it the phrase of pace. There's somebody I'd love to introduce you to. Can you be yourself and connect with somebody who you already know? Can you ask them a couple of simple questions? And then can you say, there's somebody I'd love to introduce you to. Now, you don't have to remember any of this stuff because if you're an ambassador in my organization, you already know me. Just describe me however you want to describe me. Some of you have known me for a little bit. Some of you may know me for a long time. Just tell me whatever you want to say. Tell them whatever you want to say about me. You've known me for a while. I'm a pretty cool guy. I've had relatively high levels of success. I'm a father. I'm a husband. I'm a son. I'm a grandfather. Why you like me, why you trust me, whatever it is, just a very simple introduction. And you could say something like this. You don't have to use these words just to give you an idea of how simple this conversation can flow. There's someone I'd love to introduce you to. Oh, who's that? Well, his name is Stephen Rich, and I've known him for a while. And he helps people like you save money off their energy bills by upgrading to solar. May I give him your number? Or may I give you his number? I'm probably going to switch this around and, and, and suggest you say, may I give you his number when they say yes? Say, Great. Hey, with your permission, I'm actually going to give him your, your number too. He'll send you a text and you guys can figure out what to do. The cool thing about Steven is it's Zero pressure, zero hype. He's just simply going to have a conversation and see if he might be able to help you. And if you think he can, great. And if you think he can't, no problem. Sound like a deal? That's it. Sales training, ambassador training, whatever you call, want to call this is over. It's that simple. And when you connect them with us, me, in this situation, the process is very simple. Now, you don't have to say this to the person, but you can. The process is simple. All I'm going to do is build some relationship of credibility and trust. I'm going to ask them for just about three pieces of information. A utility bill, because I need to know how much they're spending and how much they're being charged for their electricity. I'm going to ask them to take a few pictures of their electrical box so I can make sure that they can handle a solar system being plugged into it and just kind of see if there are any open slots, that type of thing. I'm going to ask them the age and condition of their roof because that's a pretty good idea if you're going to put something that's going to be up there for 25 years. Here's the cool part about the income tax credit. If somebody needs a new roof, regardless if they're deciding to save money on their energy by upgrading to solar, they need a roof anyway, right? If they get a new roof in connection with upgrading to solar, the government says, we'll take 30% off the cost of your roof too. That's why we have some great partnerships with roofers, for example. That's why people who were holding off getting a roof, hey, we can just put it all on the umbrella of our plan, of our, you know, you know, basically proposal. And then typically they're able to still save money and they have not only a solar system that locks in some their rates and reduces their energy costs, but they also have a new roof that they needed anyway. With the utility bill, the pictures of the electric box, the aging condition of the roof. What I do is I, I work with my engineers and we create something called an energy savings report. And then I have a casual conversation showing them the numbers. Most people don't really understand how much they're spending on energy. Most people don't understand how much energy has increased and how much it's scheduled to increase and the impact it's going to have on their finances. I'm going to stop there because I could talk for, for a while on that. It, it is significant. Typically, energy cost is second only to someone's mortgage with regards to the cost of, of living in a home. Most people don't realize that. So that's it. Just so you know, once again, your role in this is connecting people who you care about with me so that I can take them through the process of understanding how they could potentially save tens of thousands of dollars off the cost of their energy by upgrading to solar. Sometimes it's as much as 50%. Most times there's 0% financing options. Here's the other key part that most people don't understand. People are paying for their energy anyway. Typically, when they upgrade to solar, 
the amount that they're paying is less than what they're paying for their energy right now. So it's not like they're paying more money, they're paying less. They're not paying new money, they are redirecting. We're here, we're in California, so that's mostly that's PG&E. You're redirecting what you would have paid to PG&E, and now you're using that to pay off solar panels, and you're paying less from day one. Tari talked about the tax credit, uh, your the house, you, you know, the value of your house increases, and it's a pretty cool thing to be part of the renewable energy wave that our government says is pretty important. You're an ambassador. There are programs where the ambassador has to do a lot. They have to have the conversations. They have to pique somebody's interest. They have to talk about the value. They have to, you know, get. They have to get the bill. They have to do all the kind of stuff. You can do that if you want, but I'm saying you don't have to because that's why I'm here. And like I said, if you simply introduce somebody to me, and I have a casual conversation about how I could help them save money off their energy by upgrading the solar. As soon as the solar system is installed, you will get a direct deposit for $1,000. My question for you is, how many people do you want to help? Whether you know this or not, you're part of what I call Project 50,000. Within the next 12 months, it's my goal to give away $50,000 in referral bonuses. And I would love for you to be a part of that. It's a beautiful thing. And just for the record, yes, you can earn $1,000 per installed system. Didn't cost anything to be ambassador. There's zero pressure, zero expectations. I'm going to work with the people who want to be worked with and want to maximize this. Getting back to the Project 50,000, one of my business partners last year gave away $81,000 in ambassador bonuses. If he can do $81,000, I don't know how long he's been around, I can do fifty. dollars So back to this last slide, I think I got maybe two more. You can earn $1,000 per installed system with regards to you introducing somebody to me, me walking them through the process. You could also, for the exact same work, earn either maybe $3,000, $3,500. You would just have to actually be a distribution partner. We're not going to have that conversation today, but just understand for basically the same work, instead of earning $1,000 per installed system, you actually could earn as much as $3,500 or more for doing the exact same thing. And you could even earn more than that if you really wanted to maximize this. So ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Uh, I'm excited that you took time out of your schedule to, to hop on this call. I definitely look forward to answering your questions. We're going to stop the recording in just a minute, and then we're going to Go out there, have some fun, help some people, and also make some money. So once again, this has been Stephen V. Risson speaking to you from beautiful San Francisco, California. If somebody other than in my organization who's not one of my ambassadors who has uh, found this video, by all means, get back to the person who invited you to watch this video. Get back to the person who en enrolled you as their ambassador, and they can walk you through this program. We are one team, and we have one dream to accelerate the adoption of renewable energy worldwide. So have a happy and grateful, healthy journey rest, rest of your journey and uh, have an amazing day. Everybody take care. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.